warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Welcome back to the Ramadan Kids Talk Show. Uh, this is the most amazing program on your telly right now. I'll tell you why. is because we are casual, we are informative, uh, we are informative, we are also very, what can I say, inspirational, and we like to have fun the right way. So this blessed month of Ramadan, the Ramadan Kids Talk Show has given me an amazing experience to make sure that I am driving in the right type of inspiration to the audience and these guests as well. A big thank you out to Pufferfish for the operations partner, making all this possible. At the same time, ICP Juniors, that is the intensive communications program for juniors for the training and development of our kids. And yes, of course, a big thank you to Gateway Furnitures for making the set possible. If you want to be part of this program, please make sure you drop in a text message to the number that you see on the screen right now. And a team member will get back to you sooner or later so that you can be part of this program. So hurry up, a few days going off. Yep, yes, inshallah. So, on to our set. Salam alaikum. Welcome, salam. Adib Shabib, welcome back. Um, thank you. Yeah, Ali Maulana, how are you? Good, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So, I'm super excited about this particular website because the reason why is these two people are like, so awesome. They're like here to drive you the right type of way into a growth mindset, making sure there's a lot of positivity. Yes? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The so very positive people, like, you know, even if the sky is falling down, they'll say, no, it hasn't yet touched you. Yeah? Yeah. Was that such a dry joke that everybody was like, eh, what, what's going on? Yeah? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So what, what, what is in it for all optimism, Malia? Why do we need to be optimistic? What's this whole idea about being Muslim and optimistic? And where because does this positivity come from? Um, the positivity comes from our mind and we need to be positive. Okay. Because it gives us hope that mm -hmm. something will lay ahead okay. of all our problems. Okay, right. So that means take a look at the silver lining of the dark cloud and make sure that you do not fall into a trap of it as well. Yeah. Right? Uh, and then we were talking earlier about how to make sure that we are progressive as a Muslim. What has being a Muslim got to do with being progressive? How did you connect these dots? So like uh, being disciplined is one of the major keys of Islam. Okay. And how did you know so? Um, I've listened to a few lectures and I got some information. Okay, right. So when you when your behavior like progressive behavior, okay. it means like you you must you're getting better and better each day. You must have that goal in your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, you should like okay, I'm going to get better each day and uh, be more progressive in my behavior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and these are one of like Allah gets Allah is really like really happy when you are well behaved and okay. disciplined so even uh, not only like progressive behavior but also cleanliness hygiene okay so high progressive behavior is something that is part and part of a muslim yes it and is. hygiene as well yes it is that's a very good important thing because given the covid situation that we are going through right now may seeing looking at a lot of regulations being placed and every COVID protocol that we see has got a lot to do with exercising hygiene. Yep. So how has Islam connected the dots in terms of being hygienic? How? So like uh, even the Prophet says, uh, if like even especially that's why like on Fridays when you go for Juma, we have a bath. Okay. So it said, the Prophet has told us in one of his hadiths, he says, have a bath, wear some nice scent, Okay. Wear your best clothes on a Friday when you're going for Juma. So that is, it's like a sunnah to be clean. Very true. And also, it's not only a sunnah, it's also said in the Quran mm -hmm. that uh, cleanliness is one of the major things. Cleanliness is one of the major things. So, Alia, given the whole idea of being optimistic and you know, understanding that Islam is all about being clean also and yeah. things like that. What is it that you can throw in for us? What's the food for thought? Uh, I'll tell you a story which okay. once happened to me, which we had to have a positive attitude. Okay. So me and my friends in school, we found these eggs. Okay. And we took it to our science teacher, and the next day our science teacher told that they were bird eggs. Okay, okay, right. Uh -huh. So then we left it with our science teacher, and we decided to build a small nest for it. Okay. So in our grounds, we took some dry grass and some twigs, Okay. And we like put in a bowl and like to carve it and when we took the bowl out it looked like a real pretty nest. Okay. And after that like we just put some leaves and flowers and a bit of cotton. Mm -hmm. And the next day 
we were really upset because the bird had already hatched before okay. <laughs> we could give the nest to it. Okay, okay, right. So before you could get the nest ready for the eggs, and before you got to the eggs, the bird had already hatched up. Yes. So you did not get that. And and yes. how? What's the lesson you learned from that? Um, we actually had to have a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. So because we had a positive attitude, we decided we put so much hard work into it. Okay. Instead of letting it go for waste and let giving it to throw, we could keep it. So we kept it in our ground somewhere, and we hope that some other animal or bird could lay its egg there. So okay. we were happy as well that another animal had a home. Okay. And also we were happy that the baby bird had hatched. Alhamdulillah. So you're just looking at all the positives and looking at uh, the best case scenario out of anything that could happen over there. Uh, mashallah, mashallah. Yes. I really appreciate that. Now, if we are supposed to be progressive as a Muslim and uh, trying to grow as an individual, where does this mindset actually come from, Adib? How do we make ourselves progress? Yeah, so most of the people have something called a fixed mindset. Okay. Which I don't know whether many people know about this or not. Okay. So a fixed mindset is like you limit your brain. You're like, uh, okay, once you go to a certain point, I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is enough for me. But there's another thing called the growth mindset, mm -hmm. which many people don't think about. Okay. It's where your mind, you're like independent. Mm -hmm. And you, you're like, um, I can do more, I can put more effort, and uh, my hard work is always uh, worth in the end. Okay, so, so a growth mindset is more likely trying to solve and find the solution out of it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'd like to bring uh, Alia also into the conversation over here. Like, if you're always trying to find a solution, how does that solve problems, really? So, when the people tell you that you must dump your negative attitude okay. and adopt your positive one, okay. they will always tell you that when you're negative. Okay, right. And that really makes you sometimes annoyed. Okay, right. Because right. <laughs> people tell you, like, stop being negative, huh? You know, something yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. Maybe not in their voice, but yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so they try to encourage you mm -hmm. to do more positive stuff and to think positive. Mm -hmm. And when they tell you this, they, you as well, need to believe in yourself that you can be positive. Okay. Indeed, Masha Allah, we are connecting the dots from a growth mindset to a positive attitude to understanding that being a Muslim and a believer is to be clean and cleanliness is part of faith. My dear friends, we'll be back inshallah. Don't run away. You're here with the Ramadan Kids Talk Show. Stay tuned. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuhu. Welcome back to the Ramadan Kids Talk Show. You're with me, Shweb Ali, and yes, on the set we have Adib and Alia giving us all the necessary inspiration that you need to know that as a Muslim, you need to have a growth mindset, a positive attitude, make sure you're clean and friendly, and everything else that is necessary for being a progressive human being. My dear friends, if you want to be part of this program, please make sure you drop in a text message to the number that you see on the screen below. Uh, I hope I don't have to repeat myself again over there. But yes, Assalamu Alaikum. Alaikum Salam. So we are trying to understand what is the connection between being a believer, a Muslim, and why is it that part of being a believer is part of going in search of knowledge? How is that, Adi? So knowledge is like a very important uh, key, key like a chain to in Islam. Okay. So knowledge actually like, you see, when we read the Quran, Mm -hmm. An example we have like, um, what do I say, uh, a thing like, th have you seen the Qurans which uh, the verses are there and then it's written in English, a yes, trans translation. Translation. Yes, yes, translation. Okay. So when we read those, we gain knowledge and when yes. we gain knowledge, we learn more about Allah. Okay. And then when we learn more about Allah, we get, go closer to Him. Yes. We get closer. That's really and then true. we can, that's why, and then we earn more rewards. Mm -hmm. And also, in the Quran, uh, Allah has urged all mankind to think and you know ponder and reflect mm. uh, and acquire knowledge that would bring them closer to Allah and His creations. Subhanallah. So think, ponder, reflect and go closer to Allah and His creations. So Alia, I'm sure you can back us up with trying to understand what do you mean by closer to Allah? 
Has uh, anything else in terms of positive attitudes got to do with that? Yes, you must think solutions and you must be obedient. Okay, obedience, that's, yes. that's an ocean on its own. Tell us more about obedience. Um, obedience will pay off in a long run in your life. Okay, right. How so, inshallah? Um, so if you help somebody when you're young, okay. um, in your future, they will help you as well. Okay, so obedience has got a lot to do with helping and supporting in your upbringing towards your parents. And if you help your parents by being obedient to them, Allah will help you directly again in your growth. Yes. Is that so? Yes. 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 Alhamdulillah, mashallah. So, uh, trying to avoid being in a negative mindset, trying to make sure that we are progressive Muslims, trying to make sure that we are having a growth ma mindset, like how you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Right. Uh, what are the key points that we need to look out for if we are supposed to make ourselves this very progressive being? How? Like, um, we should do like a lot of research, and the, and you see the prophet, he does he has so many hadith that he says. Okay. So we should like go and listen to them, and that's a, v a very good way to gain knowledge because um, not only that you're learning about the religion by listening to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu hadith mm -hmm. but also we are learning other stuff like even maths and science it's there it's all there in the Quran but it's all explained informally not formally mm -hmm. mashallah mashallah so formally or not formally either way whenever we are in any kind of situation we're supposed to have a growth mindset yes and that is part of being a Muslim yes and obedience is very very necessary it is and how how does positive thinking go along together with that um, because you must be obedient and positive okay because I'll tell another story about positive please do example you go in your bike or in a car and you crash and you break a leg in yeah. Alila okay right <laughs> Example. <laughs> example. Getting example. Is, Don't worry, it's an example. It's getting a bit <laughs> violent <example>. here. <laughs> okay. We're not getting violent, we're just giving in and love. Hope it never happens. Like, yes. Go ahead. Okay. Just case. Bad case scenario. Okay. And if you break a leg, you should have positive attitude that Allah will help us heal instead of telling, oh, why did Allah make this happen to me? Why is he like this? Why is he like that? We must have positive attitude that Allah will help us heal. Okay. Allah will help us get through this. Very true, very true. If we need to have faith in Allah and we need to have a positive attitude if we really want to progress as an individual because if you keep blaming yourself for things and if you keep blaming others for things and you are setting such a negative mindset right throughout, nobody will want to be around you, would they? They will yeah. be like, oh, I know Shweb, he's so negative. He only says complain, complain, complain. You know? Yeah. Would you want to be something like that? No, no never. No, never? Never. Mm -mm. never, never. So do not be the kind of person who walks around complaining and looking about the negatives. Do not be the kind of person who does not want to look for solutions. Be the individual who is very positive. Be the individual who is giving out solutions. Be the person who is very progressive and having a growth mindset. And everything has got to do with being a Muslim. Don't run away. We'll be back after this quick break. Inshallah, you're here in the Ramadan Kids Talk Show. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to the Ramadan Kids Talk Show. You're with me, Shweb Ali, Adib, and Alia. We are getting productive on the set. We are trying to drive in the right type of inspiration for you so that you're motivated through this blessed month of Ramadan. If you want to be part of this program, please make sure you drop in a text message to the number that you see on the screen, inshallah. And yes, in about thinking solution, the whole idea of thinking solution, right? Um, yeah. What is it that we need to know if we want to think solution? I will tell you a story. Okay, right. Story time. So, example, a glass breaks somewhere. Okay. And it's your responsibility or you broke the glass. You're liable for it. Yeah. Okay, you broke the glass. Have you broken a glass before? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't counted, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. A lot. A lot? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Alia. And first thing you must do is tell your parents. Okay. And if you're old enough, you will have to first try and clean it up. Okay. 
So, and if you have any younger ones, okay. you must tell them to get away. Okay. okay. Then, you know where it is, you get the broom and your dustpan. Mm -hmm. And you go and tell your whole family, a glass is broken, please wear slippers and don't come. Okay. So, you can clean it up or if you're too small, you can ask help for somebody and clean it up. But if it's your responsibility, you as well need to try to clean it up by yourself. Okay, because right. you were the cause of it. It's okay to ask help, but it's better if you can try to do it by yourself. Okay, it's okay to ask for help, but it's better if you can try to do it yourself. And you should be thinking solution at that time. Usually, oh, or more likely, yeah. when I drop a glass. You know what's my first action? Nobody move! Glass is on the floor. This is me first. Nobody move. And then only after I clean, I let anybody move. Because I think that if somebody gets cut or hurt, like you drop a glass, and then that's way more difficult than just the glass breaking in itself. So um, that's all about taking responsibility and being progressive in that way as well. Uh, on, the, on the ideas of being progressive, Adi, what more can we add in order to train our mindset towards a progressive being? Yes. So have a growth mindset. Mm -hmm. And we should not limit our brain. Okay. Our mind, actually. Our minds. Don't limit your brain and your mind. Are they the same thing? I, yeah, they are. They are? Pretty much. We'll, we'll figure that out soon. But both things. Here. Okay. Uh, and also, we should try to get as much knowledge or ilm in Islam as mm -hmm. possible. Um, as that's one of the key things for us to like go to Jannah and then as much as reward as possible, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. So there is a lot to do with ilm. A lot to do with having a growth mindset, a lot to do with being positive, a lot to do with being progressive, a lot to do with obedience, subhanallah. If you just look at Islam as an essence in your life, a drop of it can magnify you into being this amazing individual whatsoever, where you're super positive, where you're driving that inspiration and everybody around you will love you for the things that you do. Reason why is because you're thinking solution, Yes. yes, you're not making sure anybody gets harmed or any problem whatsoever and nothing like that. So my dear friends, inshallah, if you want to make Ramadan progressive, remember being a mis Muslim and having a growth mindset, being positive, being proactive, uh, being, make sure that you're obedient yes. and make sure that you are, what else, what are the other words that we're looking for that we learnt over here? Positive. Positive, yes, positive. Um, Knowledge. Knowledge. Go look for the right type of knowledge and ilm. And inshallah, you'll be able to make sure that not just Ramadan, that this boot camp month is progressive for you throughout the years and life to come. My dear friends, if you want to be part of this program, please make sure you drop in a text message to the number that you see on the screen. A big thank you out to Pufferfish for the training and development that is the ICP Juniors. And yes, of course, Gateway Furnitures for making this set possible. Stay tuned, inshallah. We shall catch you next time. Salaam alaikum.